Kickoff underway. Falcons Chiefs, a matchup we have seen quite a bit here at DreamHack. Jay Bird taking the Atlanta Falcons. Jacoby taking the Chiefs. You want to say a slight advantage. I feel like if you look over the games we've seen on stream, Falcons have had the edge, and, and a lot of that's due to that defense has been playing incredibly tough. But who knows what will happen in this matchup. We've been treated to really good games today. RG, we said it yesterday. Yeah. Day two is where you need to tune in, and it has not disappointed. Oh, if you think day two is good, too, wait till we get to day three, and it's all games where, you know, it's a win to get some paid games. You know what I mean? And when you get into a game like that, when you spend all that money, I, I'm a guy, I used to travel to a lot of tournaments. Rico knows back when I used to play. I'd go to as many tournaments back as I could. And it's not cheap to show up to these things. You know what I mean? You got to pay for your airfare. You got to pay for the hotel. You got to pay for your entries fee. Even though it's something I would love to do, the end goal would always be at the very least to be able to make enough money where my trip was at least free. And tomorrow, each one of those games is going to have that type of implication. It's either you're making 2500 or nothing. So I can't wait. But before we get there, we still have some good games we need to get through here today. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Round of 16 here at DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament. And TK's in the chat. He said, Shuffle these old guys. Let, let the name go. It, went, it died when he won his Friday night football. Uh, and you know what was cool about that is to see how much support Jacoby got on Twitter after he was able to get that Friday night Deep football. Pass, win pass him over the top. It's Tyreek Hill. Oh, toe tapping down the sidelines. And Jacoby going, hey, Jay Bird, I got myself a burner in Tyreek Hill. How does Tyreek Hill get over? That was one of the things we talked about before. Tyreek Hill, Julio Jones, you cannot let them take the top of your defense. That is the first person you must identify at all oh, times. Oh, oh, Lord. Sack. Almost got sacked by both two Atlanta Falcons and his own offensive line. Look at him. You got Jay Bird yeah. on aggressive. And you see it, it, it exposed itself. He immediately went back and put it on balance. But he did catch him off guard right there. One of the things I worry about with Jay Bird, you noticed, a lot of people think to be a great Madden player, you got to talk trash. You got to be up and yelling and everything like that. And I wonder if that's some of the times he lets he gets outside of himself thinking, OK, I, know what you mean. I need to talk trash. I need to be this guy. I need to present this when if he just stays focused, locks in the game, he'd be able to play a better game. I, I couldn't agree with you more, Rico. I think a lot of people fall into that trap when you see guys, especially back in the day, the, you know, the Sherms, the secrets. And, you know, nowadays you got guys that, that are capping and entertaining and uh, people just think that's the way that I'm supposed to act, but you really shouldn't act that way unless it fits your personality. Ooh. I know exactly what you mean, Rico, and I feel like decision. that was a thing a lot of players um, let get the better of them back in the day, and some of them still do as well. And look at this, a fourth and goal inside the one-yard line. An opportunity for a momentum-changing stop for Jaybird. Can Shakobi punch it in? We've seen a lot of people struggle to get in from just a yard out because these guys are so good at shooting the gap. Could this be a two-burrito defensive stand for me right here? <laughs> Fourth and goal. Watkins coming in motion. It's going to be a handoff. Hold up. Hold the door. Jaybird. Hold on. Again, Hold on. Rico, we said it yesterday. I hate that play call inside the goal line because it takes so long to get the ball to your halfback. These guys are too good shooting the gap to waste that much time on a run play. That looks like old school Russian attack. Shout out to Chow once again, who might have been the greatest of all time. Russian attack was a lot of fun. Oh, there was some good Russian attack matches before the tournaments back in the day. DB SWAT drill, too. Oh, yeah. The dog was actually pretty good at Russian attack. A lot of so pretty boy Twan was, Twan was a monster. They used to have a, rank, a ranked mode where you can play that online. Warhawk, Miss that. Warhawk trying to start some beef in the chat. What do you say? Burrito or bowl? Oh, burrito. We bowl. discussed this already. Bowl, bowl, burrito. bowl. bowl with, with the, the yeah, taco the shell or the soft shell the taco. On the, on the tortilla on the side. And then you get the best of both worlds. And then chips as well, because if you want to get nacho chips. up, too, with the bowl. Get nacho up, or you can get yourself a side of guac. Big shout-out to our sponsor, Chipotle, out here. Big shout-out to Chipotle. Uh, Rico, you, you mentioned something earlier that was interesting to me about, you know, how guys can kind of get caught into the moment of th feeling like they need to talk trash, or, you know, it's a part of it. I can think of the best trash talkers from back in the day. 
But I'm drawing a blank on who do you guys got as the best tr trash talkers in the modern era? Serious, bro. What do, who do you guys got too as well, Chad? I, I want to hear more about who you guys got. In the chat, who do you guys got as the best modern day trash talkers in the Madden community? You have serious mo. The GOAT in the chat, problem right, tuning in. That's it, baby. Big shout out to the GOAT. Shout I out mean. to, to problem. Shout out to uh, Country Girl also in the chat, one of the premier Madden streamers. Check her out on Twitch. Shout out to Country Girl and Mr. Golden Sports and obviously problem right. When I, when I talk problem right, I say problem right's done to Madden what Dave Portnoy's done for pizza. <laughs> You know, Rico, you've so never good. seen a Dave Portnoy pizza review? I have no idea who Dave Portnoy would, is. Uh, the, the Prez, El Prez, uh, he runs Barstool Sports. Barstool, and Barstool you should, oh, that's the one who sat in the, in one the bite, seats. One, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Barstool Gotta check reviews. out those pizza Plus. reviews if you haven't seen them. Third down and nine. Joel, uh, they got Joel. Swing I, I pass. Can't. And boy, this Jacoby defense is swarming. Do you have to punt the ball? No, there he's hurrying up offense on fourth and six. Jaybird, he got the stop on the two, now trying to pick up a fourth and six from the seven. Can Jacoby's defense come up clutch? I don't know if I like this call. Jones coming in motion. Dropping back is Ryan. Rolling out, pressure gets there. He's loud in left side. He's got him. That's Tevin huge Coleman with the speed to outrun his coverage. That's huge. Problems calling me out. He's saying I'm disrespecting him with the Portnoy comparison. I mean it with all due respect. Anytime I watch a Dave Portnoy uh, pizza review, I want me a slice of pizza. Mm. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm going to put you onto these pizza reviews, Rico. You're going to be all in, man. One bite, everyone knows the rules. A lot of guys say and best trash talker in the modern era, Joel. Now, see, and here's where I disagree with that. I think Joel talks himself out of as many games as he talks his opponent out of. I think best trash talker in modern Madden is some series. <laughs> At that point, might as well go with Manu. <laughs> I, 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 fair to say, I feel like the trash talking in old school was just on a whole nother level. I think Joel was the closest, if, I, if I'm remembering. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Joke, back in the day. I, I can't. But I still think you got to go Mo. Mo was good. You're going to do Mo's something. You're going to mess up. What did he say? You're going to fold. You're going to. Mo was good. How about Spoto? Spoto's pretty funny. Spoto's phenomenal. Get back in the booth. Get that back in the booth. That might have been one of the greatest lines ever. Spoto rages sometimes, too. I feel oh, like yeah. the best trash talkers are able to, like, not rage, though. Third and seven. Ooh, look at that. Dodrick! Julio! Jake! Shikobi getting some real pressure up front, but I, they're I not keeping a, Ryan in the pocket. I just got a text from the dog saying he was the king of rushing attack. Oh, yeah. The, I, could, I could picture the dog being complete hell at rushing attack. I mean, you want to talk about stick work, you got to talk about the dog. VTech throwing his two cents in, sent me a message saying, Little man, but you got to be able to understand them. And I feel like you can't understand little man. If you need closed captioning for the trash talking, it doesn't matter. Hey, let's go. Jet Steele was a great one back in the day. Jet now, was a good Here's the question. Talker. What is, and I need the chat to throw their two cents in. What was the better trash talk line? Spoto telling Skimbo, get back, get back in, the, in the, booth. the booth, or when Jet told Cyrus the virus, somebody called Donkey, Shrek's in trouble. Ooh. They're both Ooh. good. Ooh. Ooh. It's tough. Donkey. <laughs> Donkey. Jaybird, after getting the stop on the two yard, they faced a fourth down, converted, and he's worked his way down the field on the 32 yard line. This game, 0 0. Both guys using a ton of clock. If you're looking for a 40 40 shootout, you're not going to find it in this round of 16 matchup. Ryan, pressure up the middle, picked up nicely. Uh -oh. He's going for it all. No, no, no. It's and it's not there. Looking for Tevin Coleman over the top. Threw that in the bushes, we like to say. Jay looking good so far, though. He got the goal line stand. He's moving this rock. And notice he hasn't said a word. He hasn't gotten outside of himself. He hasn't talked trash. You can tell he's here on a business trip. Third and four. How about Freeman? How about Jacoby's defense sealing the edge? Fourth and three. What do you do? Take three. You got your stop. This is a free three. Not oh. perfect. 
going to hit that. It's drifting, but it is. That's, that's one of my Good least enough. favorite things about Madden, and I truly hope we, we improve that in the future. It's once you, you can kick it in the accuracy bar, if you kick it in the accuracy bar, you're good. It's 100%. But if you get it in that little white area, you're going to have a chance for it to be successful. And more often than not, it feels it like is. it is successful. Um, I, I really would just like to get away from that. Maybe we increase the size of the accuracy bar, but if you're outside of it, you just have no chance to kick it. Uh, it just doesn't look great when someone misses the real accuracy window by that much and it still goes I'm, I'm in. I'm not a fan of it. I want to say it was... Launch of Madden 18. Field goal kicking was brutal. It was as tough as it has ever been. Oh. He's taking him over the top. He's got him so over the top. Touchdown. One play. Put it on the board. You can't Rico not. looks so mad. Because Tyree it's Tyreek Hill. Hill. I've been saying this from the beginning. You cannot allow to yourself to get beat that easily. That is completely demoralizing. And of all people... You can make them work to get down the field. You can't just keep letting them take the top off your defense like that. Some serious in the chat saying, find Tyreek at all times. Yes, you have to identify him. You know, as a quarterback, you want to identify the mic? Identify Tyreek Hill. Identify Julio Jones every time before that ball snapped. It's fair to say, and you know, some serious is saying it. I, I got all the respect in the world for that man's defense, so... Whatever some serious says, I'm with it. Ooh, what a block on the outside. Oh, oh I get it. Cut and stinky. He made that man miss, and that's what I'm talking about. You got to be able to make that first guy miss. Here we go. Everybody in the chat, the chat's engaging. They're liking the game. Down in single elimination, getting down to the nitty gritty. We're not talking HQ. Oh. Boy, I've seen that animation so much today. You see the fumble come out of that tackle, but he's going to pick up nine with Devontae Freeman. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. DreamHack Dallas. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams on the call. Round of 16. We're going to fill out that top eight and bring it to you tomorrow. Don't miss out. We're starting at 1 o'clock Eastern tomorrow, 12 Central. How about, how about a little jet sweep action with Calvin Ridley to pick up two? I believe Jay, Jay will get the ball to start the second half as well, correct? correct. Yes, he got that stop. Oh, shot the gap and missed it. Look at the man play there from Freeman shaking off the weak tackle. How good has Freeman looked today in the tournament? And, you know, it was a shame. He, he, we didn't get to see him during the NFL season this year, but I fully expect him to bounce back strong in this upcoming NFL season. I mean, that, that guy's a monster. Second and one. Old school jet uh, from the WBC back in the day, Rico. He says, we're forgetting about Jarvis's trash talk back in the day. Jarvis's trash talk was all fake news. He was... It was we, intense, man. <laughs> Playing Jarvis back in the day, that was intense. It was stuff, only dude. because we were there. <laughs> Sherm is another one that people forget about. Oh, you can't forget about Sherm. I mean, he made, he made Madden Nation what it was. And him being paired up with Ocho Cinco was, it was a match made in heaven. Good read right there by Jay. Easy read. Oh, he Ooh, almost got that that looks like the <laughs> don't care about ice play. MTZ, that's another good one. I mean, you, you got to talk MTZ. Thank goodness we said MTZ. I wouldn't want MTZ to be watching us talking about trash talk, and then we forget to mention his name. Definitely shout out to MTZ. Great times. We, we've had some incredible times out in Vegas. Pressure! In some of the other Madden tournaments. MTZ's trash talking is so legendary that when we were in Turks and Caicos in 09, the producers had to stop just to tone it down. <laughs> they said, America is not ready for MTZ. Because the, the best part was we were on the beach playing at this time. So MTZ was in a t-shirt talking all that trash. A little intimidating. Just thing, pretty intimidating, absolutely. Yes. One thing I'm noticing here from Jaybird 
He's running a unique offense, but by unique, I think it's actually a detriment to him. He may be getting a little too cute on play calling. We saw a jet sweep. We're seeing some halfback. Well, we're seeing him mix it up a little bit, but it doesn't seem like there's any one play he feels really comfortable going to in a clutch situation. Yeah, that's a good point, Nick. He's definitely in a prime position here where he's going to have to settle for another three. Him. He's going to use all Ace this twin. clock. He's twin wide receiver, twin tight end to the left, twin wide receiver to the right. He's going to run the ball. He's just right, ready to settle for three. He wants the three. Three seconds left. He'll take his first time out. And so it looks like, assuming he makes this, we'll go in 7-6. Rico, a real ball control first half. We're seeing long drives, using the ground game. Nothing too spectacular up until Shakobi taking the top off with Tyreek Hill. I, but here's the thing. That's what you're getting from Jaybird. Shakobi went up top early as well. The only reason he wasn't up before is because he got that terrible fourth down stop. And then he went right back up top. Shakobi's airing it out. He's playing loosey-goosey. It's Jaybird that's trying to run that controlled offense. The only thing you hope is that he doesn't stop himself from scoring. Ten minutes of gameplay remaining. Good game. For another spot in the Elite Eight. Rico, what do we got coming up next? Uh, coming up next, we got Joke and Fancy. That's going to be another great one. Echo Fox Joke will be second time on stream today. Seems like he's the people's choice. Fancy, a another one of those guys, though, with a real chance to make a name for himself. He has a lot of respect amongst his peers in the underground community, but hasn't made some serious noise on a big stage yet. And a win over Echo Fox Joke would do just that for him. So that's going to be a big game right there. Can't wait for that one. That's down at 10. A good one here. Trying to rope. That was... And you know what? If you're Jay, you need to get the offense going. Because if I remember correctly, Shakobi's had two possessions. One of them, he got all the way down to the red zone. You were fortunate to get a stop there. And then his next one, he just scored off rip. One play. So Shakobi obviously looking tough on offense. So you figure if you're Jay, you're going to need to go down and get yourself some touchdowns here at some point. And we talked about when hit stick was on the stream. When you're playing this ball control Dink and dunk, methodical offense. He's looking deep downfield. When you play that sort of offense, there's no room for error because you shorten the game by so much. He took his defense off aggressive, but I didn't know he turned his offense off of aggressive as well. You're really proud of that one, aren't you? A little bit. I'm proud of you too, buddy. Thank you. 7-6, <laughs> oh your God, score. God. Fight! Fight! Gun, gun, gun! Oh, Third and eight. Dropping back to pass with Ryan. Pressure off the edge. Picked up nicely. Someone should be open. It's Calvin Ridley underneath. Oh, what a spin. tackle by Shakobi. It's a bad spin. That was a good read. Stepped up in the pocket. Checked down. And we've seen this once again. Fourth down and medium. And Jay Bird's hurrying up to the line. Rico, you were critical of it last time, but he picked it up. He must have saw something that he liked, and I can't knock it, but I don't like running Greg back into that play. Take your time. It's fourth and six. You need the right play call, the right personnel. Oh, screen by Jacoby. Good points, though, by Jay. What a thousand! Julio! Ten! Five! You can't... Oh, look at Jay. He's getting in and now. You're saying he's staying within himself. He's lost it as Julio finds the end zone. And maybe that was the spark he needed to get that offense going. But the one thing we talked about was once he starts getting excited, once he starts talking trash, is he going to talk himself out? of his game plan. I ain't gonna lie to you, that was a good play by Jay. Shakobi sent all kinds of pressure. He stayed strong in the pocket. And unfortunately for Shakobi, he had three people c covering the short underneath route. It left Julio wide op open, one-on-one, -on -one, deep down the field. Jay finds him, turns it up the field, gets a touchdown. Now we got ourselves six-point ball game and Shakobi's gonna have to respond. Again, but as you said, RG, two drives, and only two drives for Shakobi. One he got down to the one yard line, the other one, one play, 75 yards, Tyree Kill. He's at the tight end position. No Travis Kelsey. It's Tyree Hill on the tight end. Tyree Kill at tight end, huh? What he does is he comes out in this gun trips tight end, I believe, and there's a package in that gun trips tight end where you can sub it so it's four wide receivers. And then when you audible from the gun trips tight end to the bunch tight end, that's how you're going to get that fourth receiver at the tight end position. 
Now Kelsey back in the game. He'll it's, split out wide left. It's because he came out in the trips tight end that time instead of that gun tight. And he finds Travis Kelsey out of bounds at the 40-yard line. 405, 166 in the touchdown. That's that is efficient passing the ball. But yeah, we saw that we saw that um, from Big George and some serious throughout the club championship where they'll come out in that gun tight with that four wide receiver package. Even though it's an 11 personnel, they get a fourth wide receiver see Big there. Big George in the chat. Yeah, that's Big George's. That, that's his scum tactic, man. It's a good one. I, rem I remember you, George. That's a tough play. Him and some serious. It's a good tactic. And, and if you're a fan of Jaybird, Rico, that play right there is really concerning. There was no pressure and there was no ceiling of the edge. He had all day and could have run for 20 yards. And that's where I'm a little nervous in the fact that he doesn't seem to have that. Uh, that you want to see at this time. You want to see that. Mahomes out of the pocket once again. He's got free range. Oh, out bad of the pocket, read. But it's bailed Ooh. out. What a catch. I wonder if he was going a circle and then that was overthrew? A, an overthrow and just got the catch because circle was open. open. Yeah. So that was to the other receiver. To me, that was a bad read. And Shakobi fortunate to come down with that. By the way, we're just talking about some of the greatest trash talkers. Sherman Jameson, aka Sherm Sticky, just sent me a text. Still trash talking Wayne Walt. <laughs> you gotta love how some beefs never end. Shout out to Sherm doing great things. It's phenomenal. Yeah, Sherm definitely helped get Madden to that next level. He brought that entertainment factor that just made Madden Nation season one so popular. He actually made the final game of that Madden Nation season. Ended up going down to Duca. R.I.P. to Duca. A great Little Rob Taylor. Player. Little Rob Taylor, a great Madden player. Wheel, in his own. Watkins, first down. Okay, got game, you know who won out of VY and Nando? Have they played? I don't think they've played yet. I don't know. I don't know. Ask our man on the ground. Hold on, Scoop is on it. First down and 10 now. Can oh, Shacobi. Shacobi cash in? Uh, so far, Jacoby has just looked good on offense. Back in the and end there zone. There he goes again. Oh, big, big hit. hit. On that was a touchdown if Deion Jones did it make a huge hit. You wonder why, once again, we said in that last game, you wonder why it's not Travis Kelsey coming out with that. Yeah, instead of Conley, especially when you have such a good backup tight end that you could put in Kelsey's spot. Second and ten. The grows right oh, back to just it. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Sammy Sweet Meat Watkins with the touchdown. And look at that, Jacoby. With this extra point to take the lead once again, it is up, it is true. 14 13 nearing the end of the third. How good does Jacoby look on offense? I mean, he has just continued to move the ball. The only time he, he hasn't looked good was that one playmaker that looked like it was an overthrow. But other than that, he, he's just been phenomenal moving this rock. Question for you, Sherm just sent a message saying who's looking the toughest right now out of everybody we've seen. If you had to pick somebody, are you going with Joke? I'm going with Joke, I think. Joke looked really tough. Joke was definitely tough. Shakobi's been looking pretty tough here. Shakobi's looking tough offensively. Mr. Hitsticker has been no slouch either. Are you going to name the entire field, Archie? I'm just talking to who's been looking you tough. You forgot Kratobin, too. Look, look tough. Kratobin nice. didn't look great in that game. He had about five turnovers. Tell Sherm Twan's back. Oh, we, we definitely let him know. Reminder, guys, <laughs> if you want to check out the entire bracket, you can go over to dh.je slash Madden Dallas. This will be a big drive right here. This is a huge place for Jay Bird to have to step up right now. Four's up in the chat. Fourth quarter, it's a one-point game. That's a cute audible right there. Fun fact, last time we saw Jay Bird going into fourth quarter, it was a 61-point game, so a little better matchup we have this time. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little better. Fair to say. Second and two. Uh, no, it is not the last day of the tournament. Two, we got one more day tomorrow. Final eight here on stream starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Give away that $25,000 prize pool. Second and two, Freeman. He'll pick up the first down to the 36-yard line. All right, let's assume Jaybird gets down the field here, Rico. How much time's left on the clock for, uh, 
for Shakobi. Three minutes, 12 seconds. Think he gets down that quickly? Yes. Ridley in motion from left to right. Around the ball with Freeman. Pick up another four. I think he's about to try to lull him to sleep and take one shot with uh, Julio soon. Pat's boy in the chat saying this is the last drive of MJ. Second and six. Once again, two wide, two tight ends on the left side of that formation. Julio Jones coming in motion. It's going to be another run. And there you go. Shakobi shot the gap. Big third and eight coming up. When you're Jay, you are in a much better situation to milk the whole game away when you're only down one point and the field goal could win you the ball game. Well, 312 and counting. And look at J Jay's using that entire play clock. See, this might be the last play. <laughs> this this is 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 Ryan dropping back. Pressure! Oh, back. Pressure! Oh. Now he's got himself in a oh. critical fourth down. He wasn't ready. Here we go. Oh, man. The only thing I can say to both these players, clutch up. This is it. This is a huge play. Both of these guys put so much into this game. Both travel to this tournament. Trying to make some noise. And now here comes Jay on a huge fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Two wide receivers once again. Jones in the slot. Ridley wide right. Two tight ends on the left side of that formation. Ridley coming in motion. Ryan dropping back. The heat's picked up nicely. He's got time. Look at him take off the top. He's got him over the top. It's Tevin Coleman to the 11. Yard line. Now here's where it gets interesting when it comes to your clock management. You know you can take three and go up. Do you play to not lose or do you play to win and then go for two? Hand off. Outside. Just He's got the edge. Over. Fuller. Big tackle. Good googly muggly that hit. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. How about this two minute warning? It's a one point game. Will Jay Bird cash in? How much time will Jacoby have left? He's got all three timeouts. Does Jay Bird have a two-point play? You'd assume so. Ridley in motion. Why not run it one more time? Good defense. Good defense by Jacoby. All right, what's your play call? Third and seven. You know you're in field goal range to take the lead. Do you air it out, or do you stick with what you've got? What really has been your game plan, which is run the ball with Freeman? You better run this ball. No, he's going to have plenty. Shakobi's going to have plenty of time for a guap drive regardless. You, you'd much rather be in a situation where he needs to score a touchdown instead of get a field goal to win the game. If I'm Jay, I'm, from Jay, I'm going for the gusto here. I don't want a tip drill. I don't want anything. I'm running the ball. Jay's probably going to throw it. But. Look for Julio on this play. Ryan dropping back. He's looking for Julio. Oh! He made the catch! Made Are you kidding catch. me? Hey, he went with it. I have been 0 for 3. I have the Minnesota Ophers, but I can also turn into 0 for Winfrey. You get a burrito. You get a burrito. You get a burrito. Let's go, Jay Bird. He looked like he had defense. Jacoby had defenders in position to make the play. And Julio just out jumped him. Coleman dropping back at fullback. It's a big two point conversion play. He's got it, I think. No, he's no. out of bounds, and that is rough that for Jay. One looked, that one looked more like a, it was inbounds than the Julio play. Uh, that's critical, seeing how good as Jacoby looked on offense. If you're Jay, you would have loved to get that two-point conversion, so giving up that touchdown, still a tie ball game. Now this puts a special kind of pressure on you. And you also have to think, because hey, you're hey. not up seven, hey, you hey, have to watch hey, the hey, clock hey. if you're Jay and manage with your timeouts because in case he scores, you want to have a chance to come back and kick that field goal. Here goes Shakobi again in the tight slots. He audible from, he audibled from that tight slot to the trips tight end again. Had Tyreek Hill at, he has Tyreek Hill at the tight end position. There it is again. You see Hill at tight end. He's trying to get him over the top. Got to be a little bit patient. Plenty of time, two timeouts. Mahomes out of the pocket. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's for the crosser. That's Sammy Watkins. What a play. That's a tough play to stop right there, huh? You have to pick who the you got? Hey, Chad, who you got? One for Shakobi, two for Jay Bird. Buck 21 and counting. This game far from over. What type of dodge do you got? Mike, Mike, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. 
Can Jay stop it or not? Play action pass. Oh, well, he's got him again. He's got him one Wide more time. Open. That's Sammy. But here's the thing. Jay has put the pressure on Shakobi because Shakobi needs six. He's already stopped him one time. I believe Shakobi's two for three in this game. Two touchdowns, and then on one possession got stopped on the two-yard line. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Now he's got to go for two. Now Shakobi has to go for two, and this is a big two-point play. The problem for Rico's Jay, so mad. he doesn't have an explosive <laughs> offense. Rico's so I mad. I wish we could get a screenshot he's of so Rico's mad. face because it's Tyree Kill. <laughs> it's Tyree Kill. <laughs> doesn't get it. Oh, and it's a field goal. Rico's so mad. <laughs> oh, man. Dubby's in the chat. He said, Jesus Christ, Mr. Bird. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I just got a text from Rhonda. Shout out Dubby as well. Good job. Nice to know Rhonda's locked in. Appreciate the support. Speaking of support, you have to have somebody covering Tyreek Hill, and then you have to have another support system behind it. How you cannot let Tyreek Hill beat you there. Is he going to be Shaklutchy or is he going to be Shafoldi? Either way, he's played a good game so far. I can't let Tyreek Hill beat can't. You just can't. First and ten. Now. Plenty of time. He's got all three timeouts. But Archie, as you said, not it has not been an explosive offensive game for Jay Bird. Does he have what it takes to get down the field and get in range? Oh, He's no, looking for it. Pick. It's picked off. Shaklunchi with the play. Three timeouts, though, for Jay. Mr. Williams, let's check in with Rico over at Sports. Rico? You're in a bad cell zone. You have bad reception oh, right now. That's a shame. We can't hear you. You're breaking up. That's a shame. I'm telling you, Rico, not over just quite yet. Three not timeouts. likely. But three timeouts, and all he needs is a field goal. Oh, that, that's a oh. good. Archie goes, oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, you're you not know, supposed to let two. up an eight-yard run on you. You're supposed to blow up the run, make it interesting. Still two yards. You, you he he get was too stingy. busy double-teaming Tyreek Hill that time. <laughs> Oh, gee. Yeah, they're, say, they're saying RIP to Chipotle. He's should clutchy should now. Clutchy is alive and well, but we've seen weird stuff happen. How about Travis Kelsey with the carry? He's not going to get the first down. Second time out. Taken by Jay. All right. Here we go. It's a 60-yard field goal from here, so he's out of field goal range. Is there any chance? You know this is going to be still be a run. Look this at is this. It's still going to be a run. Look at this. Does Jay still know to have stopped? No, oh it's God. not a run. Oh! What a cerebral oh, play call. What are you call. doing? What was that? If you're Shakobi, you're the chat. Shikobi. That took guts. Shaklunchy. What are you doing, though? You got to 